You said previously you've stayed out of the Hunter Biden investigation. It's been on David Weiss to figure that out. Can you once and for all shed a little light? There seems to be a little confusion on what's going on here. Uh, I'd be happy to. As I said at the outset, uh, Mr. Weiss, who was appointed by President Trump as the U.S. Attorney in Delaware and assigned this matter during the previous administration, would be permitted to continue his investigation and to make a decision to prosecute any way in which he wanted to and in any district in which he wanted to. Mr. Weiss has since sent a letter to the House Judiciary Committee confirming that he had that authority. I don't know how it would be possible for anybody to block him from bringing a prosecution, given that he has this authority. And he was never told no. I'm saying he was given complete authority to make all decisions on his own. Um, Mr. Garland, just to follow up on that, um, one of the uh, allegations that one of the IRS supervisors apparently made uh, was uh, involved the fact that Mr. Weiss reportedly wanted to uh, uh, have powers you've conferred on special counsels. Was that request ever made? And if so, uh, did you? Why did you reject it? It was not. The only person with authority to make somebody a special counsel or refuse to make somebody a special counsel is the Attorney General. Mr. Weiss never made that request to me. Do you think, in, just to follow on that, do you think that uh, a special counsel, can you explain the rationale for not appointing a special counsel in this case? Mr. Weiss had, in fact, more authority than a special counsel would have. He has complete, he, has, he had and has complete authority, as I said, to bring a case anywhere he wants in his discretion.